Hi everyone, how have you guys been and did you achieve your targets for last week successfully? So here's few questions that I want to ask and as I'm asking the question or as you read the question on the screen, see what answers come up in your mind and try being honest to yourself. So did you actually achieve the target last week? Did you give your best performance? Did you put in 100%? Is there any scope of improvement in any subject areas? Can you avoid and remove all possible distractions? Do you see yourself achieving these weekly targets? Do you see yourself in your desired medical college? Do you see yourself as a doctor? So the answers that's coming to your mind, keep them with you. See what answers you do not like. See the answers that you want to change. And let's change that for this particular week, for week 5. So for week 5, we have just 5 chapters to do. And as you can see, bio involves the major big chunk of chapters. It, it comes from the diversity section, which has like 12 questions in all. So we can expect around three questions from plant kingdom and three questions from animal kingdom each. We had already done hydrocarbons and just a small part aromatic compounds is left. One question can come from this section. We had done haloalkanes. Now we have to do haloarenes. Again, one question from this section can be expected. Electromagnetic waves, small chapter, two questions can be expected from this particular section. So you see, it's an easy peasy week. You can easily uh, achieve this particular week goal. So let's see what we have to do day on day base. So this is your entire five week. See how it looks. Less stress, right? No, we're going to do a lot of things here. Uh, see, in the first day, we will do plant kingdom, we'll do aromatic compounds. I want you to complete aromatic compounds in day one itself. Then electromagnetic waves, complete half the chapter in day one. Then the remaining half you'll complete it in day two. But there's no extra day for aromatic compounds. So you have to have to complete it in day one itself. For Halloweens, we have allotted two days. So on day first day, you complete the preparation part and on the second day, do the chemical reactions. That's it. Two days and the chapter and this particular portion should get over. For plant kingdom, we have three days allotted. For animal kingdom, you have three days allotted as well. So for the first two days, the idea remains the same, three hours for reading, revising, going through the chapter, going through the textbook, then five hours of MCQs. That's what, what you, that, that is what you will do on the first two days. You will do around 50 MCQs from bio. You will do 40 MCQs from chem and you will do 15 MCQs from physics. This is what we will do on day one and day two. Now, if you see in day three, we just have two chapters or just two sections to do. So in day three, we will do 50 MCQs of bio. We will do 40 MCQs of chem. So this is for the MCQ part. You will invest two hours in reading because there's no third chapter here. So only two hours in reading. And this should take approximately four hours, not more. Actually, it should take less than four because we have bio here. So let's say three to four hours here. The remaining time, the remaining time, I want you to cover your backlog. Whatever was left incomplete midway in week one, two, three, four any topic pick up any topic that was left incomplete and cover the backlog and that's exactly what you're going to do on week four five six and seven 
and that's exactly what you're going to do on week four five and six you are going to cover your backlog all that you can do maximum backlog jitna backlog cover ho sakta hai wo kar sakte hai is is particular week mein so let's do that okay week 7 we are reserving that week to revise everything of week 5 itself okay so if you have been following our plan from day 1 and then there is and there is no backlog at all Okay, that's extremely good. So what we will do is we will do MCQs from the first to the fourth week. Again, select some new MCQs or select some MCQs that you have got wrong when you were practicing in those respective weeks. Okay, so we will do at least 100 extra MCQs in these days. So 100 MCQs here, 100 MCQs here, 100 MCQs here and here try karo at least 50 MCQs cover up. Kar lo. So the ones who are having backlog complete your backlog and the ones who are done who are up to date with their weekly goals do extra 100 MCQs. This is your point of get this is your uh, day or this is your place of getting an extra bonus so this week you can do something more extra and this will increase your score to some extent okay so the week five extremely easy week it's simple it's a relaxing week but do not get into the mode of relaxing uh, but do not get yourself into the mode of relaxing, into the mode of being lazy. Be equally charged and equally, be equally charged and equally enthusiastic to complete this week target and to do more. Try doing this 100 MCQs. Try covering up the backlog. Try re-revising, revising everything from the first to the fourth week. You need to remember everything that you did in the last four weeks and this is your time to do that. Okay, so here's the plan for week five. I am sure you can achieve it. So good luck and we'll see again, we'll meet again in the next week. Till then, take care.